Hello and welcome to Farrister's Coffer Gold Farming Guide for Druids in WoW Classic. I wanted a really, really easy way to be able to print money in a dungeon. Doesn't involve any combat if you don't want it to. Can be done in any spec and it's really easy, safe, so you can switch your brain off and watch YouTube or Netflix or do something else uh, as you go. So really straightforward. All that you need for it is the Shadow Forge key, which most people have from doing BRD the first time. Once you hop in the dungeon, use that key to open the first door on your left, and watching out for the Fire Guard Patrol, uh, then just move up and it's the second door is just in front of you on the right. And once you're through that one, the final door that you need to unlock with the Shadow Forge is just up on your left. Uh, so once you've got all three of those opened, I'll usually just switch into cat form and stealth through. The other thing that you'll need for this are the Relic Coffer Keys. You can get these from a dungeon uh, of BRD, um, or I usually just grab them on the auction house and get them for cheap. So I haven't gone up the stairs and followed the corridor around on the left, you get to this balcony, just drop down, hop down to the lower floor, and then you're on the layer with Incendius on it and straight forward from there. So I play on a PvP server, which is pretty much Horde dominated. Um, so making gold in the open world is pretty challenging. Um, whereas uh, in a dungeon, you've got a relatively safe way to be able to, to farm gold, uh, which is why I've kind of come up with this method. Uh, there are better methods for earning gold, um, but they usually involve uh, either different dungeons where you need to be specced or geared differently, um, or they'll be out in the open world, which for, for this server is, is quite tough. Um, I like this option because I can do it in any spec, uh, I can do it with my brain off. As far as gear for this, um, I've just got my tank gear on, which is really, really basic. Um, the only other thing that I've done which helps is I've equipped my Nightscape boots. Um, so the Nightscape boots I have from when I was levelling just increases your effective stealth level by one. Because I've got no cat talents, that just makes life a bit easier, but you don't have to use them at all. First on the left, hop into the vault. Um, so within the vault itself, there's these 12 uh, relic coffers. Uh, opening each one requires a key. Um, and then once you've opened it, uh, you don't require a key. You just open the little chest that's inside. The chests um, drop uh, these coin bags. Uh, it could be a small or a large bag of coin, um, depending on the amount that you've got in there. Uh, it'll drop um, item stacks, which is where the real gold is. About 7 to 10 gold per hour from the gold bags, but these stacks of, of items are vendorable and that's where the real gold is. Also little red bags that have uh, gems in um, and the gems I usually just vendor on my server uh, it's more reliable income than having to auction house. Occasionally you'll also loot greens or blues so I've got a couple of blues here um, just looted. Um, again it'll depend on your server whether it's worth keeping those, um, disenchanting them or um, flipping them on the auction house. Um, and again, it probably depends on the item. You get all sorts of blues in there um, as you go through. I'm only opening a 10 of these uh, relic coffers. Um, it's possible to do um, more. There are 12. Uh, if you do all 12, you'll trigger the boss event. So rogues will often do that, and then they can kind of vanish or, or do whatever. Uh, as a druid, you, you probably don't want to be opening all 12, because it will just mean you have to do the boss fight, which just adds time to the run. Um, I usually only do 10, uh, just because the two outside coffers, um, I can't reliably do them without tagging the boss. Uh, and again, you know, it just adds so much more time. So I'll usually just do the 10, uh, as I'm doing here. And then again, you know, it's easy for me because I know I only need kind of 10 keys per, per run, so it's quite easy for me to do the calculations. Once I've done that, back into stealth and back out of the way we came. There is an instance cap of five instances per hour, um, so I usually just tag that fire guard there, kill that guy, um, just to add another minute to the time. And I'll also get the, the patrol by the instance end, um, just depending on time. I've got the stopwatch open, I'll usually time, time my runs. If I time them for about 12 minutes per run, I find that's the most reliable way of, of doing it. Again, just coming back down the way that I came, um, up past Incendius, um, so it should be a, a route that you get to know very, very quickly if you're doing this a few times. Um, whereas where we dropped down before, right in front of the gates here, rather than being able to pop back up the way we dropped down, it's just straight on through the gates, um, just brings us back round a different way. 
Worth mentioning that the, the relic coffer keys um, that you use for the run, um, you can do those through the dungeon or you can get them from the auction house. If you are buying them from the auction house, just be wary of the price that you pay for them um, because that will reduce the amount of gold per hour that you do get. Um, so clearly the cheaper that you get those for, the, the more profit that you're making, pure profit per run. Walking past this patrol, that's the fire guard there. Um, I'll usually just grab him um, if I'm you know, if I'm doing a full set of runs, because it's my final run, I'm not worried about time, because I'm just gonna half straight back. Um, and then as you go through here, there's the entrance to the instance. Um, usually just hop out, reset the instance, and then hop back in uh, and start your next run. Um, again, just timing that. Because I've finished my runs today, I'm halfing back here, um, and I'm just gonna vendor the items and just show how much that they sell for. Um, like I say, because this is vendor uh, led rather than relying on the auction house, it's really, really consistent gold per hour. Um, and because it's in the dungeon, it's just so safe. So if you're in a, a PVP dominated world like I am, um, it's a really, really reliable way of doing it. Do my repairs. I've accidentally sold these two chokers here. Um, and the elemental fire actually i'm going to buy them back um, just because they will auction on the auction house for a little bit um which is just worth doing uh, and i just vendor all of the gems uh, because that's not worth doing uh, clearly some of these stacks of items just show you know how much it's worth so the false documents five gold a stack um, is quite considerable um, but a really really good way um, of, of consistently earning the gold and as you can see uh, 25 gold an hour here and that includes the time get to the instance so Hope this has been a helpful guide for you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.